To find out more about what full approval could mean for the fight against COVID in Texas, our Brett Ship spoke with Dr. Jamie Pickney. He's the founder and CEO of Diamond Health in North Texas. Doctor, thank you very much for joining us today. How big is this news in your opinion? You know, this is huge. Um, you know, we've been waiting for many months for full approval from the FDA, uh, and now we have that approval. So this gives people um, that are being that have been hesitant now a full green light to be vaccinated. Right now, we have about 73 uh, percent of adults in the U.S. that are vaccinated with either the Pfizer, the Moderna, or the Johnson and Johnson, and we've got to get up to 85, 90 percent so we can reach herd immunity uh, and we can really uh, thwart this Delta variant that is uh, on the rise. Real quick, Doctor, the distinction between emergency use authorization and full approval is what? I mean, it's taken a few months, but technically what happens to get to this point? Well, the EUA emergency use authorization is for just as it says emergencies. So when we have this pandemic that started, you know, 18 months ago, we had to move quickly to have certain tests that were uh, EUA approved and then vaccines that were EUA approved. But the FDA likes to have more data. Uh, as scientists, we like data, so we want to make sure that the side effect profile is what the manufacturer states uh, it is. We want to make sure that there aren't any adverse effects that pop up. And we want to make sure these things are safe. At the end of the day, uh, if we have a vaccine that has more side effects than it than it does save lives, then it's not a great vaccine. And we've proven now that the Pfizer vaccine is safe. It's effective against the Delta variant and many other variants. And I highly encourage uh, all the viewers to uh, become vaccinated as soon as possible. Yeah, doctor, should uh, Moderna be far behind and then the Johnson & Johnson? Your thoughts? Yeah, Moderna's in the queue. Um, I personally received the Moderna vaccine uh, and the Johnson & Johnson should be uh, approved here shortly as well. Now, we've had some side effects with the Johnson & Johnson and the AstraZeneca, but again, we have to look at this from a mass perspective. Millions of individuals have had no side effects a handful have had serious side effects. And at the end of the day, if these vaccines save lives and the benefits outweigh uh, the potential negative side effects, then they will be approved and they should be utilized. All right, Dr. James with Diamond Health in North Texas, we thank you very much for your time and your input, sir.